Finally, the wheels are loose. All right, so got it up on jacks, tires up off the ground. Uh, starting to look at the floor, it looks like, so there's the metal frame obviously, but then there are two by twos sitting on the frame itself, running this way. So, fingers crossed those are still good. Uh, the only water they would be exposed to is anything that leaked through here. Uh, so fingers crossed those are good. Uh, so I'm gonna start ripping up the floor here and get all these layers taken up so we can actually start exposing some of the bare bones. So, we'll get to it. First layer of floors up. And there's like an old middle school linoleum tiles underneath and then all these pieces of wood they're all held in with like bow tie looking screw heads so real weird i'm probably gonna end up just ripping it up but yeah floor number one has been removed now time to work our way down into the depths started pulling the tile up and there's a possibility it's asbestos so going to stop everything until i can get a test kit confirm it is or isn't asbestos because I know they used to use it for everything. Uh, and floor tiles is one of those. And these look very similar to some of the images online. So I'm gonna get out of here and go get a test kit. Work on the camper stopped, uh, I guess it's about a week ago. I started, uh, took a, there was a piece of wood on top of the tile floor. Um, when I took it out, the tile looked like the types of tiles they used back in the day with that were vinyl and asbestos. Uh, so to be safe, uh, you know, I've kind of been worried about asbestos this whole time, so I wore a respirator. Uh, but to be extra safe, we went ahead and bought a test kit. It's from a company called Semel Labs, S-E-E-M-L. They sell it on Amazon around $30 or so. Uh, so we sent off the sample to get tested, and then we just got the results back today, which show of the sample, we're dealing with 30% cellulose, and uh, I guess on the top of it, or the bottom of it, one or the other, 30% cellulose, 70% something else, and then the other side was 15% cellulose and 85% something else. But uh, this company uses, uh, I guess, the testing technique uh, approved by the FDA to test for asbestos, so we can confidently resume knowing that we're not going to die in the process. So now we can get back to the floor.
So, floor's coming up. Decent, so started over here and I went ahead and shined this up a little bit just to see how make sure it's all solid. Uh, but yeah, looks like there's a 2x2 two two running the length and then these 2x2s two are I guess screwed in from the outside. And there's the one inch plywood and then the 2x2 two two footer inside. Uh, this side, this 2x2 two two is solid uh, up until it gets down to where the wheel well is. Uh, and then on this side, it's a whole nother story. This is completely coming undone by where the door is. Uh, and it gets worse as it goes. So, I'm afraid what that means is a lot of the weight is being held up by this bottom two by two. Uh, and these are solid. These in the middle, honestly, could probably not even be replaced. Uh, these are all not exposed to water at all. But the problem is, is they're, they're screwed into the outside and that's what's supporting the entire frame with the exception of a few points like this that go through the two by two. So what I'm afraid now is that this side, that two by two is not in good shape at all. Uh, so I don't know what's holding up that side of the camper, but I think what needs to happen is the headers on this side are, are decent. Uh, and, the, and the roof supports are also pretty good. So I think I need to put in some braces uh, to hold some of the weight just in case. Uh, worst case scenario is this, the wall slides down and it just kind of rips everything apart in the meantime. So I think I'm going to stop. This is, this stuff's this has been really easy to deal with, this paper stuff. I don't know what I'll end up replacing it with, but uh, it's been able to, it did a decent job of keeping everything waterproof, but it'll, only for so many years. Uh, so yeah, what I think needs to happen is I need to, on each of the metal support areas, I need to run a support up to the top uh, and make sure that we have support for this. And now that I can, now that I've been able to expose uh, how it actually looks, I know where I can put the supports and how this whole thing's supported. So, fairly certain that uh, putting the supports on the metal beam up to the roof will be able to help, you know, ensure that it's supporting the weight. Uh, and then I should theoretically be able to pull out the two by twos that run the length here uh, and maybe, uh, and should, I mean, I hope that I can just knock this one out of there and then bring in a new two by two and start connecting it to these, um, these kind of lateral pieces here. Uh, and that would give me a brand new footing that is secure. So I go one side, do the next side. And then from that point, I can uh, in, in return, rehook up these two by twos uh, to the new one and then replace any that need replaced. These certainly up here need replaced. I believe that there's supposed to be a whole, a whole curve of two by twos here. Uh, so uh, I think by supporting this I can get rid of that 2x2 two two and then get a new one in uh, and then it's a matter of removing uh, the footer here remove the footer the best I can and then I can remove this one inch plywood that's kind of in the middle looks like it's held up by nails uh, and then I will be able to put down a floor and the new footer uh, while it's being held up from the ceiling. So it's a pretty optimistic plan, but I think it's honestly my only option. I, now that I have the floor exposed here, there is no more air conditioning really. I'm running it just, it's kind of like driving a car with uh, the air conditioner on, you know, it helps a little bit, but I now, this thing now looks very rough. Animals can get in here, more water can get in here. Uh, so I'm doing my best to try to get this short shirt up as po quick as possible. Uh, I got a, while I'm waiting on my batteries to charge, the worst thing about having the circular saw uh, is that I'm, I spend half my day waiting on the batteries to charge, it seems like. Um, so I, I've been trying to get the, as close to like a 10 inch cut as I can, and then I've been using the chop saw uh, to give the circular saw a break so the battery can cool down, and then chop it up into my little small pieces I need for my waste removal here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just try to see if I can find some of my 2x4s and and start working on these braces before I go any further. And uh, you know, a real problem is we're in hurricane season right now. 
officially and in Florida so if there were to be a hurricane this isn't strong enough you know even if I were to anchor it down you know you can pour concrete uh, footers and put on attachments and you can anchor this down but just sitting back here in this bad of shape uh, it would be a real it would be a real problem if there were to be a hurricane because uh, this thing might just blow right over mess up the house so ideally at least we could have it on wheels and up and running uh, so that if we needed to we could take it to storage facility or something uh, another problem I see or I don't know if it's a problem but it does appear that there are brakes so it's hard to see but there are wires running to the tires on each side onto the hub which I have to assume is some sort of hub brake some I would assume drum brakes, I don't know. Uh, but ideally, I would like to, I don't think that they'll be salvageable the way this has been. Uh, but I'll have to look into replacing that or adding some other type of brakes uh, if, if they're needed on this. So about to get a thunderstorm right now, so I'm gonna try to get my stuff. This window ended up falling out and breaking sometime overnight, so uh, my waterproof isn't going to do too well over there. So I'm gonna try to work on something from the inside here and staple a staple garbage bag around it similar to what I did here which you know it's better than nothing it'll at least keep my uh, all my tools from getting ruined and I don't have to tow them inside so so we're at I'm gonna start bracing the ceiling now get this thing stabilized a bit and it's uh, probably about it for the day Alright, I feel pretty good about this. So this will give us support straight from the metal frame up to the roof, which does appear to be connected quite well. Yeah, so this is all solid up here. Header solid, so that is taking the weight off of the floor. Uh, because right now, if I were to step here, there's pretty much nothing there. So, I love it. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that, I think I'll try doing that one more time here. Uh, once we get some of this back area opened up, maybe even around the wheel well here. Uh, but this will, this takes all the stress off the, the ground or off the, the rotten footers. So I feel a lot better about this. I don't, now, now the thing, at least if the bottom comes undone, it'll just hang here and jiggle around a bit, but not gonna kill me, so perfect. So I added a second brace here. It was, so it's going straight from the metal frame up to these three. Uh, this one is not even attached, so that one doesn't really matter. Uh, but these two are both attached to the headers, uh, at least on one side, not on this side. This one's loose, semi-loose, so this will at least hold the load off the rotten two by two on the, along the bottom. And it's putting more weight on the frame now, so. This side, this side should officially be 
kind of framed up and I'm out of wood to make the braces so if I end up doing it over here also I'm going to need to come up with a plan but for now we're good I think I need I need to take a two by two from the roof because since it's bad over here it's not really going to help much so I'll need to get maybe use that that pine I have and then just run another support or give it a, more or less I'm gonna need more wood but for now this will work uh, so now a lot of the weight is off the frame so came across this thing to there needs to be a support up here and right here so right now I have a jack kind of holding it up so I'm trying to figure out the get the length I'm going to use a one inch square uh, steel tubing try to cut angle into it uh, and make a little triangle here so right now the jacks holding it up but the entire the two by two along the entire thing is rotten so I think I have the supports here. I think they'll hold up the side. Then I'm, I want to take out the entire rotted two by two on the edge. And then I'm going to come in and try to weld in the new bracket. Uh, that's it. The side, I think we're supported okay. So I'm, I'm going to leave the wheel well there for now, but it'll tra be trashed soon. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to start working on getting rid of that entire footer without the whole thing coming down. So I may try to put some supports going to the ground onto these supports or onto the studs here all right so this may be the final final setup here been a few months weeks so the original idea I had just straddling these two supports so I could jack that up take all the weight off the bottom here so I could replace it and then weld in new brackets that's what I did is two by two going across here I have it screwed in one two three four five times into the support I'm gonna sure up the tops here to make sure that it's holding the roof and then what we'll do is I'm gonna put in a support here that will have a piece of wood that will be jacked from the ground and that should take all the weight off this help bring everything back level because right now it's sagging down and this should allow me to replace this once and for all and then it's all rebuilding from that end. Once we have the bottom end, then we can replace one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. We'll be probably doing the same thing on this side. So this will kind of be our, we'll find out if it works on this side. So, well, here we go.
Alright, starting to jack it up. Put in a strap here. It's actually a, a tension line, a, uh, I forget what they're called, slack line. Slowly cranking it up here in the creek. Supports came down on their own, so we're definitely taking load off. And we're just about, I've been using this to mock it up. We're just about to a point where it's just about have that floor lifted up enough here. So after that comes well. Alright, been steady cranking little bit by little and I'm finally at the point. So if I mock up the frame here, you can see I'm at the point where it would be underneath. So now I can start ripping out that rotted footer and hurry up and get it replaced. Alright, got it all removed. So it looks like it hangs from a bolt over here. It goes across, connecting each one, all the big pocket screws in each one, all the way to the back. But I'm a couple feet short, so I probably need a 10 or 12 foot. And then another bracket just broke here, so I'll be making one here, here, and probably redoing that one. So I'll have to make three total. So I'm gonna wait until I can go get a, the right size here. But so overnight. We're going to trust our system here. Hope holds it up. <laughs> 